What is up trainers, your boy Trainer Power here with another review of, review of the brand new Jazzware series, God knows what, Mag Mortar battle figure, battle feature figure. This figure, well first of all the packaging is big as crap, like I don't know why they have it so big, like look, next to um, Manitan, like, that's how big the packaging is. Anyway, you see the front of the packaging, the deluxe action, oh, focused. Deluxe action, you see the fireball. I think he shoots at his hand. You see battle ready, battle feature figure, Magmortar. You see Magmortar right here, Pikachu, Pokemon, Pokeball. On the back, you see the figures that are in the set. I'm never reviewing this. Um, I reviewed that and I need Scyther. I think people started finding this in um, uh, Barnes and Noble, and I got this being lucky. So, um, yeah, we'll see if I can find Scyther. If so, I will do a review. Anyway, let's get this open. How are you guys doing, by the way? I've been going a while. I think it's been a month or so. Oh. Let's take a look at the pamphlet. These are the figures that are featured. I have still to get yet to get these. I reviewed Sylveon, I reviewed this one, and I reviewed Click the Buzz. We both have size comparisons. Anyway, let's fix the camera. I'll get back more to the packaging. Over right here. Oh, the hell broke. Oh, Fireball right there. Oh, I think his tail is separate. Yeah, his tail is separate. Alright, we're gonna see what is going with the non standing up. Anyway, let's take a look at this. the fireball first. Focus. Focus. He has a nice yellow thing on the top of it to give it that little fire look. I'm assuming it goes in the hand because Magmortar shoots fireballs at his hand. But this is Magmortar. Let me put the tail on. The tail does go in the back. You see it locks in that place. So put that in there. Is it on? Yeah, it moves around. It's kind of flexible. Anyway, this is Magmortar. You see his face, the nice big lips that Magmortar has. You see the teeth in there. You see the eyeballs. If you don't focus, I'm going to lose it. And you see the big, big ball on the head. You see the little foop on the top, well, three of them. The hand is actually made of soft rubber, but you do see the fire in there, the, the button to activate the battle feature figure. Why are y'all not focusing? You see the stomach is painted nicely, the legs are painted nicely, arms painted nicely. And anyway, let's do articulation while we're at it. The arms, this, this one goes out and back. This one, the same one too. Oh, this kind of, oh. This one goes up and down too. This is the, probably the most, Jesus, the most articulated battle feature figure I've seen. But yeah, you see the clothes right there. And you see the legs are articulate, are they? Yeah, they're articulated, why are they so stiff? Oh, they don't go so far, they go like this. They go, hold on, move that. They go out like this, which is basically it, and they do move side to side. You see the feet. What series is this? I never see the focus. Oh, series six. Okay. So this is series six. Anyway, guys, let's get the let's let's show off the battle feature figure. But before that, size comparisons. Now here is Magmortar with Torchic from the Jazz Wars line and the Jack Pacific Dormanitan. I think these do go in the scale better than a lot of them. See Magmortar, I think it's like five foot something, and then um Dormanitan is four foot something. Torchic's probably too big, but you know, that's how it is. Anyway, two and one more size comparison. And now you have Magmorta here with Charizard. Okay. Stop moving. Charizard, the battle feature figure Charizard and Blaziken. These all do fit and scale somewhat good. I mean, Charizard, I think is taller than Char- um, I think they might be the same height or taller, and Blaziken definitely taller than all of them. But I did lie about how many size comparisons are left, because we do have one more. The Jazz Wears Mag 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 Mar figure. I don't know why I forgot that for five seconds. I am sure the Pyro Sun and I forgot about Fire type. But yeah, these do fit pretty much good together. I mean, Mag Mar might be a little bit too tall, but you can mess around with the scale. Anyway, let's get the let, let, let's preview the the Dagon Arm thing, the battle feature. Jeez. Now, to, in order to start this, you need to lift his. Arm. Does it go this way? This doesn't lift up, so 
How are we supposed to shoot this? Like this? You're supposed to shoot like this? Hmm. I'm guessing like this. So you do put it in this way. I don't know if it has a specific way to go in. Probably not. Let's see if I can get it in there. Oh, so it does go like this. Yeah, it gets in there like that. And there's a button right here on the arm. I shoot at the back of the thing. Hopefully it doesn't bounce off. Let's back it up. Let's back up. And let's see if it goes. Oh, God. That was loud. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, for one more time. Well, no, not for one time. One more time, I'm going to preview this. And mortar is probably one of my favorite fire types. I, more well, more um, preferred fire types, let's say that. Everybody give them crap though, but anyway, press the button back here and it shoots it. Out of all the battle figures ever, I would have to rate this at least a 10 because at least this battle feature figure is functional and Mag Mortar just looks good. It feels good in the hand, looks good with the other ones, and is articulated well, better than I thought it would be. Anyways, guys, if you like this review, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Keep trading, guys. Oh, wait, hold on. You Please subscribe to the channel because at this point, mostly all that watched are not subscribed. Please subscribe to the channel. It costs absolutely nothing. But it does. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Anyway, it costs nothing. Subscribe. Keep trading, guys.